Hello all, my name is Blair and as you can kind of tell, I'm in character. Today I'm going to be reviewing Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, a land called Primoria. And the narrator of the story's name is Mira, and she is one of the eight lasting survivors of the takeover of winter. So, there's four season countries, summer, autumn, winter, spring. And then there's four rhythm countries, and there's one, two, three, four. And we mostly just close in on these four, the seasons, because Mira is from winter. And that's where I'm dressed up all blue, trying to be like her. There. Do I look a little more warrior-y? My hair up? This book is about Mira's journey to build up winter again. So, spring took over winter 16 years ago. When spring took over winter, most of the people got captured and are now slaves at the spring. And there were eight, 25 beginning survivors, but now there's only 8 left, one of them being Mira. It's a fantasy novel, so there's lots of action. If you like action, definitely read this novel. And basically it's just her journey to rebuild winter once again. And it's very intense, and I read it in two days, and it was very, very good. I haven't read fantasy since I read the second book in the School for Good and Evil series, and even then I might have... maybe The Last Olympian was my last one, but I haven't read fantasy in a very long time. I tweeted about it. I have just been reading contemporary after contemporary, so rating this book was very difficult. Rating contemporaries versus rating fantasy is very different. Contemporary usually has layers and layers of information, and it's more real world. But with fantasy, you gotta keep in mind that there's probably a lot of action. So it's very different trying to rate. And I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. Actually, I'd probably give it 4.5, but it was incredible. The thing is, it's just that I haven't read fantasy in a long time. So, I mean, I don't have that much to say on it. It was really good and I definitely recommend it. In my Goodreads review, I said that the plot was a little thin, which I do agree with, but it was definitely really cool to get into Mira's head and figure out all these characters and figure out the background. There's so much world building. So that's what's getting me excited about the second book. Or now that we have most of the world building done, we can get to more of the drama. Yeah, not much to say about this book. It was really, really good, and if you like fantasy, please go read it. And yeah, if you read this book or are going to, please post on Twitter or Instagram and use the hashtag Blair's Books and I'll take a peek, or you can tag me with my links in the description. Now we're gonna move on to spoilers, so if you haven't read this book, come back after you've read it and we'll talk about it. Spoilery! Okay, so, I began this book and it took a little while for me to get into it because I was like, who are these characters? I have no idea who these characters are. I, I understand Mira, she's neat. I really, really enjoyed reading from Mira's point of view. And when we got to the ball, like everything, like reality set in and so everything was normal and then the ball hit and I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I really liked how it was Theron, and I don't know how to pronounce these names, so please don't be mad at me if I'm pronouncing them wrong, but Theron, that's how I read it, and Mather, I, I liked how there was a versus there for Mira, and Mira always felt like she was so inadequate, like she wasn't enough, and so it was just cool to see two guys kind of fight over her, and we don't I hope that there's more of that in the second book, because I love contemporary so much, I like to see a little bit of, you know, Love triangle. I liked how the reality changed so fast. Once the ball, like, was over and we got to the point where she found out that found out that Cordell and Noam was going to actually screw over Winter, I was like, wow, reality just changed. All of the Winterian survivors are pretty much screwed now, so what is their life? What is their reality? There's nothing. Through most of the book, I was really, really hoping that Mather and Mira were not related. That's what I was scared of towards the end. I was like, if they end up related, I'm gonna be angry because I ship them. As much as I like Theron, I think that Mather is just like, they've grown up together their whole lives, they're perfect for each other, it's just, they need to be together. We went from marriage, they're gonna get married, to war. Okay. When Sir died, 
I was like, no! And then you know when the whole winter thing comes out of her and she freezes it but nobody else feels it? I was like, something's happening there. Because that's happened multiple times, which means something's happening there. And then he dies, and I'm like, no, sir. And Mather's getting dragged away, and I'm like, no. Honestly, I felt like the work camp scenes, that was really long. There were like seven chapters, and Sarah's chapters are like 20 pages long. And that was just too much. I just don't like it. And it felt really, really long. It was like weeks passed, weeks passed, weeks passed, days passed. And it just felt like too much. And that's probably why I docked it a point. Honestly, that was just too much. Honestly, it just was boring because it felt like the same thing over and over again. Once she gets pulled into Angra's little headquarters where his throne is and he's like searching her brain, we find out that Hannah's her mom, I was like, yes, you go, girl. You are the queen. You are the queen. And Mather, like, he feels so much better about it. He was never meant to be the king. So that's good, because I feel like Mira deserved it. She has worked her whole life feeling inadequate and not good enough. And finally, she she's the queen. She can be amazing. She can save all the people she has this connection to, her people. I like how the book ended, I liked how it was kind of a cliffhanger but wasn't. I liked how we don't know if Agner's gone, or Agna, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but the bad guy. I liked how she killed Herod, or whatever his name was, I hated that guy. But overall, I just loved how Mira was meant to be the queen. Like it's in her blood. I was like, I did not see this coming at all. It completely blindsided me. And that's what I like books to do to me. So yeah, that's Snow Like Ashes for you. It was an amazing read, and I cannot wait to read the second one. I'll have to order it from my library. I'm very excited. It definitely got me back into fantasy, and I'm very grateful for you, Sarah. You got me back in the game. Um, I've been reading so many contemporaries, it's unbelievable. So if you have not, go pick up this book. If you liked Percy Jackson, or The School for Good and Evil, or The Last Olympian, or all that jazz, or Harry Potter, I've never read Harry Potter, I'm going to, I promise, because that's like, it needs to happen. But if you have read any of those fantasy novels, you'll definitely like this. It's a completely new world. A completely new world. I was born in September, so my birthstone is Sapphire, and I love blue and I love the cold, so... I definitely liked that part of the story and it's all just brand new information and I feel like I could tell you everything about it now that I've read this book I could tell you that there's four kingdoms. Winter, their uh, capital is January and I liked how the uh, capitals were spelled different. Very clever. And I actually read an interview with Sarah and she said that like um, the four rhythms, which I don't know why they're called rhythms, I do, am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something, and if I am, please comment, because I am confused. Um, but they're kind of related to different parts of the world, so like, Ventrali is supposed to be Italy. So yeah, read this book. It's really good. Do it now. And I'm actually looking for more books to read. My to-read list is up past 80, and I can't pick one. So if you suggest anything, then comment below. And yeah, if, if you want to post some pictures, use the hashtag Blair's Books and tag me on Instagram, I'm at Blair Fashionista, and on Twitter, I'm at Vintage Blair. So, thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.